Use of allogenic nebulized platelet rich plasma or PRP in patients with COVID 19. Uh, Dr. Santosh Jacob. Now, this is a study designed uh, to identify if regenerative medicine has a role in reducing morbidity and mortality in hospital admitted COVID 19. COVID-19 is associated with a high mortality rate. It's 30 times higher compared to seasonal flu. One in four hospitalized patients will require intensive care unit admission and a high percentage of them are at risk of dying in the course of the COVID infection. Mortality increases significantly with age and comorbidity. A constant sign in severely affected patients is the inflammatory response of the respiratory tract which is associated with respiratory distress alveolar damage This leads to an excessive immune response with excess cytokine release This is responsible for the acute lung injury and alveolar damage which leads to acute respiratory distress syndrome multi organ failure and death There is no effective antiviral treatment so far and there are no other valid options to prevent these patients from progressively worsening Therefore there is an urgent need for new treatments to slow down the excessive anti-inflammatory response in the lungs and to accelerate the repair of functional lung tissue in these patients with hospital Uh, admitted covid-19 infections on the other hand the anti-inflammatory and antifibrotic role of prp is well known as well as the stimulating role on different cell populations the role of platelets as a first line of defense in certain viral infections is also well described in literature The use of nebulized allogenic PRP could be an alternative treatment for patients affected by COVID-19. The administration of PRP by airways would reach the lungs affected by this pathology without any complications. PRP from the same patient should not be used for the following reasons as listed. One, the possible viral contamination of the autologous platelets. Two, the important increase of inflammatory cytokines in the plasma of the affected patients. And finally, by the very frequent association of thrombocytopenia, which is an increased cause of morbidity in these patients. The PRP of young donors would have a greater biological therapeutic action than older individuals. Moreover, these young donors could have overcome the disease so that their serum would have antibodies against COVID-19 infection. It should be noted that patients with poorer prognosis have thrombocytopenia. So it seems that platelets may be the key factor in the evolution of this disease. Platelet lysate is also used which is an activated form of PRP. PRP or platelet lysate could participate like this. The anti-inflammatory effect of PRP on lung disease is well known. The effect of serum antibodies to COVID-19 donors who have overcome the disease is also well known. The stimulating effect of PRP on lung cells is responsible for repair and regeneration. The antiviral effect of platelets and platelet proteins is also well documented to have effect. Objective to evaluate the effect of nebulized allogenic PRP in patients with COVID-19 pathology severe patients who are infected with COVID-19 but not in intensive care. Population to study sample size 30 patients 10 per group inclusion criteria patients of both sexes over 60 years of age diagnosed with laboratory covid-19 and patients admitted in serious condition with lung disease but not in intensive care or ventilation treatments experimental group 1 will be treated with nebulized prp from young healthy donors group 2 nebulized prp of young healthy donors who have overcome the disease and the control group 
will receive standard treatment for covid-19 thank you for listening now this is a study designed to reduce the number of patients who are admitted in the hospital going on to the intensive care this is a study i am doing with uh, dr chris paulus who was my guide during my ab course